are you feeling all right now? I'm all right. You'll Fully know if recovered. I keel over, won't you? Thank you for stepping. Thing. That's all right. Now, in recent years, we've become used to hearing about the extraordinary success stories of modern China, astonishing economic growth, huge technolo technological advances and amazing innovation. So, why then have they turned to a nursery school teacher from Margate for advice? Well, Stuart Welby from the Manor House Forest Schools just come back from China, where there are real concerns that huge pressure put on children to succeed from a very young age means that many youngsters simply don't know how to play creatively and that they struggle with social skills. Lucinda Adam reports. There are no tables and chairs and no wall to hang a whiteboard, but this is a classroom. And today's lesson, making zip wires for woodland fairies. How did you do the knot? Because that's very difficult to tie a proper knot, isn't it? I, I did it on my own. Wow. This is the Scandinavian forest school teaching philosophy. It's all about fostering imagination, creativity and teamwork alongside learning in the great outdoors. Stuart Welby spent the summer training nursery teachers in China that learning can be child's play. They tend to tutor children one-to-one. -one. So they go into parents' houses and do a lot of private tutoring. There's also a lot of more formal style uh, education where children tend to sit down at this age. At the start, they were very much um, concerned about danger and risk outside. Forest School works on giving children opportunities to manage their own danger and risk and provides them with a lot of the life skills they need to be successful, not only in school, but when they go on to their adult life. It's a far cry from the more formal Chinese methods that these British teenagers have been experiencing for a BBC documentary. The discipline is really important. Without discipline, you don't learn well. Now, it's not the best weather today, but come rain or shine, these children are out in the woods at least once a week. And it's that that's caught the Chinese's imagination. The Chinese government have recognised uh, in recent years that there is a fundamental part of their education that needs enhancing. And that's really about creativity. Uh, the Chinese method of education is quite structured and forest school is the complete opposite to that. It's education in its oldest form. But with Stuart already invited to go back in November, outdoor teaching is the newest Kent export to China. Lucinda Adam, BBC Southeast Today, Margate.